Hey, how you doing? My name is Pablo. I'm with Fusion Cleaning and Restoration Services. And today I would like to talk to you about cleaning and restoration, but a little more towards the restoration side of our business. Um, as a matter of fact, I uh, got five things to uh, really know whenever you are hiring somebody to do a water damage and restoration. The first thing that you need to do is you need to understand the water damages are time sensitive. Please understand that. Don't just call and say, hey, just come next week and extract it, blah, blah, blah. If you, can, if you see a water damage, handle it right then. All right, number two, make sure that the company that you're hiring, it has some sort of credibility. Um, make sure you know they checked out with the Better Business Bureau, you know, if uh, Angie's List. Make sure they've been in the business for a while, you know, like the basics. Make sure, you know, they have a website and, you know, that the content in the website is actually theirs because that means that they're actually writing from stuff that they know. Um, some people don't even think about that too much. Um, and, uh, and make sure they've been in business for a while, you know, I'll say maybe 10 years or longer. Um, also make sure that um, they're licensed and insured. Very important. So if they mess something up, you know, just, you know, that they've been licensed, that are licensed and insured, they have something to fall back. Uh, number three, make sure that the technician that you hire, so, you know, okay, wake up, the company that you hire, you know, everything checked out, and then they send this little kid, you know, this teenager to do a flood damage and remediation. That would be a big no-no. You might, I mean, nothing against, you know, young people, there's some plenty young trained professionals out there, but make sure that the person that you hire um, send somebody that actually knows how to do the job and you can ask them hey how long you've been actually doing water damage and restoration work don't just ask them how long you've been working for the company maybe they've been working in the cleaning uh, area of the company for I don't know X amount of years and they just now being that we have some really bad weather they started to uh, to work on um, you know like the remediation process so that is very important you know if you want to take it a step further Make sure they are IICR, IICRC certified technicians, okay? That is very important. Uh, the IRCRC governs the education in the cleaning and restoration in the US, Canada, and some other countries. Um, basically means the, the technician took the time and the company took the time to send the technician to a study, to, to learn, to be taught on how to do the remediation process. That is very important. Uh, also, make sure that the technician has the right equipment. All right, so uh, while I'm in this point, I'm just gonna talk real quick about some of the instruments that we have. We have a moisture meter. This is a penetrator and non-penetrator meter. And uh, we typically use in every single water damages that we go to. And then we have, uh, this is my favorite, this is a thermal imaging camera, okay? Um, this is when when I'm doing a water damage this is my eyes right here this will actually tell me if there is actually water drop anywhere for example um, I'm just gonna give a little demonstration I'm sorry I'm stuck all right I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on the carpets here and I'm just gonna put well I only put a little bit of water in the in the sheet rock so I'm not gonna put any more water there all right so this is my eyes and my eyes just shut off, so I had to turn them on. And it's coming right back, all right. So now, this, again, this is my eye. So this will help me determine where the moisture is actually located. Um, so I'm looking at it right there, and it's pretty clear where it is. And um, can I see if the camera can actually, can you come over here? And I don't know, can you see like exactly where the moisture is? Can you see it? Yes? All right, perfect. So, okay, we know where the moisture is, so um, my eyes have determined with the thermal imaging, obviously, where the problem is located. And then um, I would like to verify with this instrument. All right, so then I will verify and make sure this is wet. And it's telling me that, uh, yeah, duh, it's actually really wet. And we will kind of check over here and yeah it's telling me actually I just sprayed with just a little bit of water not too long ago and um, all right so my thermal image has tell me that there is moisture there and I'm I verify with uh, this instrument 
exactly uh, how many points of moisture there is in that area. All right, now, let's go ahead and just do this real quick. If you didn't have the right equipment, you will actually go and look around, and I'm not feeling, you know, like a puddle or anything. Um, so you will actually just look around and be like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and extract this area and I'm just gonna treat it and it'll be fine. But in reality, far from it. Um, what really needs to happen is the baseboard needs to be disengaged. That needs to be dry. And then behind the wall is uh, where our attention needs to be. And um, if you have, if this is an on-site wall, then you will have some insulation in this side. Um, and you really want to remove that insulation. Um, the insulation will lose something that's called the R value. And um, after it's been getting wet and dry, uh, it, it doesn't work the same. You want insulation that's actually gonna insulate the heat. Um, so especially here in Florida, you, you definitely want that. All right, so, um, so if you didn't have the right equipment, you wouldn't have been able to determine that this chip rock is actually wet. Um, and maybe you wouldn't have been able to determine if actually, you know, this area actually is wet or not. Um, so you have to have the right equipment to do the job, very important. So thermal imaging and a moisture meter, unlike the basics. Now, um, also, you have this instrument right here, the psychrometer, and this will tell me the temperature. It will breathe, you know, right over there. It will actually breathe, and it will tell me two uh, really good and very important piece of information. is my temperature and my relative humidity, and, um, and with that information, I can actually start uh, my paperwork and we can determine, okay, this is where we are and this is where we'll, we would like to be. So again, we have the thermal imaging, moisture meter, and then the psychrometer of it. Also, you need to make sure that the company has a really good communication with you. Um, you have to talk to the technician, whoever is actually the guy doing the, the restoration work. And you need to ask them, hey, please keep me informed. Why am I referring to the communication um, as the very last step? Is um, in order for us to ensure that this is dry, we will have to monitor everything daily. Sometimes maybe a couple of times per day, um, depending on exactly what we're dealing with. So it's very important the communication. Will they going to need access to your property the following day and the day after? Um, so communication is it's going to be crucial um, and also you just have them give you some sort of update on a daily basis hey are things dry? are things getting worse um, is there moisture in some other places uh, all of a sudden you know like we have you have a water damage here and then you have um, I don't know water damage in a different place just just communication is crucial so make sure whoever you're hiring you know just make sure they can actually talk to you on a daily basis on um, and keep you updated on the progress on your water damages um, on your water damage also it is something we didn't actually include here but side note uh, make sure that the company that you hire uh, be very clear in, well, I guess it will go into the communication also uh, be very clear if they if for some reason they did okay they did a water damage in your carpets so obviously in order to do water damage, they had to disengage the carpet, they had to remove the padding, or um, if it's weather from, from all sides, you know, some of the rain weather, you, they had to dispose the padding. Um, they treat everything with a germicide and um, and, uh, and then you are left after everything is dry with the carpet being disengaged or laying flat on the concrete but no padding and no reinstallation. Um, so make sure you know the, the, the company can actually subcontract the work with somebody to kick your carpet back in place and uh, install the padding and, and all of that jazz. If they have to cut any seams, you know, make sure that the restoration company you knows somebody they can actually um, you know, help you out with, um, with all of the reinstallation uh, towards the very end. Alrighty. Again, my name is Pablo. I am 
the owner of Fusion Cleaning and Restoration Services. And if you need any additional information, um, you can call us here at the office. Our phone number is 850-651-6600. And our website for water damage and restoration is fusioncrs.net. Or if you have any questions about carpet cleaning in general, um, you can go to fusioncarpetcare.com. Thank you.